little update on the utility truck here. So we greased everything up, got new tires on the front here from a military supply company. There's some Goodyear's, got them for 150 a piece. Got them installed with new tubes for about a hundred each. And these are steer tires. There were drive tires on them that were severely worn. I still got to do the rears. That's the best looking rear right there. But uh, the other three are pretty much wasted. Um, PTO questions. Um, this is kind of a, a hard one. I'm not too familiar with PTOs, but I've, I've fixed a couple on lawnmowers and some other heavy equipment, but nothing like this. What we got here is I think a Chelsea Parker PTO um, with an automatic, I believe it's a 658 Allison transmission. I'm not sure about that, but anyways, um, look at the tag. It is not actuating. Now, we got, um, let's see, we took this airline off of it. Here's the bottom, and this is just like a standard airline what happened was is we took this line off we tested it we know air is coming in okay but i don't know how much pressure the compressor is putting out 130 psi but i don't know how much at that line so we're going to test that next or try to get it going um, i've warmed up the truck got the transmission all warmed up um try to engage it uh you know um, following the directions that are in the truck on the visor. So there is a uh, clear instructions on how to engage it, but it's not engaging and the light's not coming on. So I think there's just some, maybe some wiring too on the solenoid or maybe the pressure switch. I don't know. Anyways, this uh, update video here, we got the, this panel up here. I steam clean this. So there's um, a little bit of grinding to do. And then I'm gonna prime this, uh, this deck just because it's sitting out in the rain and just getting more rusty. Um, we took the window out from the, uh, the back. Um, we got some plexiglass in there. I got a sheet. I'm cleaning this up with some old primer Rust-Oleum paint that I have. Here's the output shaft of that 18,000 pound Dayton winch that's in the back of the bed here. Um, cleaning up all the boxes, cleaning up the back here. I painted, started painting, priming the back. Um, bumper here you can kind of see it's going good i'm gonna take these lights off as i go i, I found some replacements at napa their led the boom or the turret up here where the lighting's bad in here there we go there's a drain pipe right here for the um, underneath the turret um, or the boom for the crane this drain pipe right here i fixed and it was severely clogged this panel comes off i'm going to take that off here soon get all the crap out and paint that really good and then yeah there's the turret swivel motor right there and then this uh winch up here so we're gonna go through all the hydraulics and get the pto going the farmer had it working he's a very honest guy that i know and he gave this truck to us and um for a really good deal and i know the pto worked it's just he pressure washed it about a month ago before we bought it and it stopped working and he was just not ready for a project like this. He's retired and he's about 80 years old and still snowboards. So pretty cool guy. But yeah, you know, just cleaning everything up. I've steam cleaned the inside of these boxes. As you can see, little lazy Susan. All that. Just going through and cleaning stuff up. But yeah, you know, the truck is definitely um, going to be great for our future farm and our property development. It's got the four-wheel drive conversion. We're going to test the four-wheel drive when my buddy comes over to help me with the PTO. Um, and test all the hydraulics, get them going again. Like I said, they were working a couple months ago. So um, yeah, that's my update video. So, you know, next video I should hopefully have the crane and the auger and everything working and this this big winch back here you know it's really cool um, it can mount on a pulley here or you can mount it a, on a pulley on the side and it'll come out that shaft I showed you in the other about a minute ago in the video clip there so uh, fun truck you know 
everything's looking really good. Got all the fluids changed. Got everything greased up. Check out that front end, man. Yeah. Beefy. This company made tanks in World War II that did the conversion on this thing. A little cab update as I cleaned it up a little bit. Looking pretty good. Got a seat cover. So <laughs> seat cover the prior one was completely destroyed but i steam cleaned in here a little bit well, that's my update guys looking good i uh, can't wait to get this thing uh more cleaned up and we're just gonna hand paint the outside of it slowly but surely we don't need anything perfect it's heavy equipment and it's gonna be a tool so any updates uh you know will be uh provided in video format moving forward on this channel and if anybody has a truck like this I'm eager to hear from you guys you know there's a lot of these conversion trucks and um, they're really neat and cool and I feel pretty lucky getting this one being able to drive it 40 miles straight to my house and and be able to work on it and start it right up it's a it's a great truck um, especially after I cleaned the whole fuel system out and flushed everything it's and a nice oil change but uh yeah, that's my uh, C800 uh, 4x4 conversion truck update video for you all. If you have any trucks like this, I think they did these conversions all the way until 1953. I'll, I have another video where I have an original photo of one of these trucks back in 1953. But yeah, it's the Marmon Harrington Automotive that did the conversion. And uh, yeah. That's pretty much it. It's a uh, 32,000 pound truck, so I do have it as registered as a farm truck. I don't use it for business, it's just for my personal properties. A little bit of uh, rights left there for just people that have property and want to work it. But have a good day finally getting warm enough to do some painting here in Seattle area Washington and I'll have this thing in eastern Washington doing work in Lake Wenatchee area this summer all right or in uh, at Stevens Pass too have a good day guys thanks for watching my video